Welcome back to Fox News on the Hill live this Sunday morning. You know, Democratic Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan of Virginia won her seat in a special election one month ago. She is the very first black woman to be elected to Congress from Virginia. That is history. She has spent 17 years in the state house in Richmond, and this morning we want to welcome in Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan to On the Hill this morning for your uh, first appearance as a member of Congress, uh, Congresswoman. Uh, congratulations to you uh, for that. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, are, are familiar with you, but you you are now in a new role. Your district comprises um, some of Virginia's top military installations. Uh, you are going to be on armed services. You are on armed services right now. What do you see right now as not only the biggest concern of this country as far as a military preparedness, but also your priority when it comes to representing your district with so many veterans who live where you're now representing Congress on the Hill? Well, I think you touched on it. The priority is the people, the people currently serving in the armed forces uh, and their families and our veterans, making sure that they have the training, the skills, the support that they need to do their job. And once their job is complete and they become veterans, that we continue to support particularly their health care and their mental health needs. There's obviously been a lot of talk this past week about the military situation in Ukraine right now. There have been concerns of a growing closeness between Russia and China and how that could complicate Russia's war in Ukraine. How worried should we be about those two coming together, especially when it comes to Ukraine and then in a larger picture threatening the United States as well? That is something that we're certainly monitoring and, and concerned about. Uh, I think we also recognize that we are a strategic competitor uh, with China, but they also have economic interests uh, with and in the United States and our allies, and they recognize that those interests could be threatened uh, if they uh, enter closely in a military alliance or uh, in, in the Ukraine or any other area with, with Russia. Are we doing enough in Ukraine right now? Because obviously when President Zelensky you know, came here, uh, there was a big push for more weapons support. We had the Ukrainian ambassador here one morning saying, look, we can fight this fight if we have the weapons to do it. Are we getting them the weapons they need or do they need more? that is providing the Ukraine with what they need in support of them maintaining their sovereignty. Uh, that is something that certainly the president and the Armed Services Committee are monitoring closely to see if we need to send more. But we are committed uh, to our allies in NATO, including the Ukraine, and making sure they remain a sovereign nation. I want to talk a little bit about the historic nature of the job you have right now, because obviously, you know, you're a known commodity. A lot of people knew you from your years in the Virginia General Assembly. What does it mean to you and what does it mean to others for you to be the first black woman to represent Virginia in the Congress of the United States? Well, it certainly blows my mind that we're still having firsts in 2023, but we are becoming a more uh, a, a Congress that more fully reflects the diversity of our country. We have a historic number of women, a historic number of women of color. Um, and being the first is a tremendous honor. It's also a tremendous responsibility to ensure I'm not the last, that I am supporting the next generation and the current generation of women and women of color in elected office or seeking elected office. Do you find being a member of this Congress, which you know started off with a, a raucous fight over who should be the speaker right now, you are in the minority of the political parties right now, is that a difficult position to be in when you're just starting out, or are you able to get the lay of the land pretty quickly here? I, I was able to get the lay of the land pretty quickly. It helped, as you mentioned, being in the General Assembly for 18 sessions, uh, 14 of which I was in the minority two under a Democratic trifecta and two in divided government. Uh, so it wasn't a steep learning curve. I obviously prefer the majority and hope we'll be back pretty quickly. But in the meantime, I'm on two committees that are largely bipartisan and just getting get, rolling up my sleeves and getting the work.
And I want to ask you also about uh, any particular uh, political future beyond the Congress that you may have. Obviously, people followed your campaign for governor during the last Democratic primary. You got a lot of attention. Uh, you, you got a lot of conversation. The former Speaker of the House, Eileen Fillercorn, has announced that she was leaving the House of Delegates in Virginia and was considering heavily uh, a run for the governorship in Virginia. Uh, have you completely cleared your mind of your interest in that job, or are you now focusing exclusively in being the congresswoman from your district in Virginia? I would say I learned a long time ago not to try to predict the future, that I am focused right now on serving uh, the people of the 4th District. I am My larger ambition is to serve the most people where I can and do the most good. And I didn't expect to be in Congress, uh, but unfortunately, with the passing of our beloved Congressman McEachin, uh, this this became the best way for me to serve people. And I'm focused on that, but I will never say never to anything. And I've learned, don't try to predict the future, just focus on the present. All right, and with that, we want to thank uh, Congresswoman uh, Jennifer McClellan. I, have you enjoyed being in the Congress the last couple of weeks though so far? I have loved every minute of it. All right. Well, we got much more to talk about. We want to have you back at some point uh, in the future. Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan from the Commonwealth of Virginia, we thank you for your time this Sunday Thank you. Morning.